Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and we have a brand new It's so a pattern called Walnut Creek, and it uses Joe Morton Reproduction Fabrics by Moda Fabrics. And you're gonna love this pattern. Basically, you're gonna make three different units that when you put them into rows, is gonna give you this beautiful quilt behind me. So let me show you how you make it. So your first step is to make your rail unit, which is just two fabric B rectangles and a fabric D rectangle, Press according to the pattern so that all your seams will nest. And we're using Aurifil Color 6711 today. It's not too dark and not too light. It works great for reproduction fabrics. Now we're gonna work on our outer Walnut Creek unit. You're gonna sew together a fabric E and F rectangle and press. Then on the wrong side of your fabric A squares, you're gonna draw a line to cor from corner to corner with a friction pin. I used a friction pin because it'll disappear with heat later. So it's one of my favorite tools. You're gonna to place your fabric A on this side. And what a way you can think about it is you want more of the red to show and less of the green. So you're gonna place that, stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away, and press. And this is gonna be your unit. Then on the other side, you're gonna place the other direction, and again, you can remember more a more red, less green. And then you've got this, which is basically a flying geese unit, but you've got strips in the center. And then what we need to do is we're going to be adding fabric G triangles to the bottom. We're gonna do two different ways. The first one we're gonna put on the bottom right, and that's just a, that's just a um, corner square triangle, just like we did on the fabric A's. So you're gonna place your fabric G, draw a line, stitch on the line, trim a quarter inch away, and you've got one on this corner. And then we've got one on this corner. And then we're gonna sew these together, and you've got your outer walnut unit. And it's super easy. When you're doing this step, I would definitely recommend pinning so that all your points line up like this. And if you press according to our pattern, you will have seams that nest. So you're gonna have some Walnut Creek units left over from your previous step, and we're gonna be doing the same thing, except we're going to be putting the fabric G squares, the corner squares, on both of these cream corners, stitch on the line, cut a quarter inch away, and your unit will look like this. So as, you know, this one is just has an extra tr triangle on it. Then you're gonna add this one pin at all your intersections, and you've got your inner Walnut Creek unit. So let's move to our last unit. So now we're gonna make our plus unit, super easy, I'm sure you've made these before. You're just gonna add two fabric C squares and a fabric I square, press, make two of those, sew it together with a fabric H rectangle. And then here is your plus unit. So now all you have to do is put all your units together and you can see on the quilt behind me how beautiful it just comes together. And on this pattern, it's available in crib, lap, twin, and queen, so you can make any size you like. And of course, you can find the pattern at Fat Quarter Shop or your favorite local quilt shop. 